Good day and welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how the Nameless Honor and Nameless Glory systems work in Honkai Star Rail. It's essentially a battle pass. For those of you who don't know, battle passes reward players based on the amount of activity that they basically have in game. They are weekly and daily missions that you can complete and monthly missions which last the duration of the Nameless honor now this traditionally is around 33 days so roughly a month you can purchase upgrades to the nameless honor system and you can purchase an upgrade to the nameless glory pass which is an expanded version of the nameless gift which gives you more rewards now the big question is should i upgrade well here's the thing you can purchase levels with the battle pass you can buy an expanded version of the Nameless Glory system. However, this is a waste of time. If you're not playing enough to fill out the Nameless Honor, then realistically speaking, you probably shouldn't be buying these. If you are someone who's playing the game quite regularly, the Nameless Glory, which I believe is $9.99, is a pretty decent upgrade. I'm not saying you have to spend money, but it does give you some sizable advantages. The big advantage it does give you is the guarantee of a 5 star light cone. This is something that's very impactful in game and it's something that has a very big presence on how well your units perform. 5 star light cones are substantially more productive than 4 star light cones. This is probably the biggest advantage. There is also stellar jade and some additional rewards but I feel like the light cone is really the big ticket item. You only get about 680 Stellar Jade, which is around, uh, I think, four summons or so. So it's really not that much. But it's mainly the resources, the additional energy consumption, the light cone, and the additional abilities to upgrade your units. Upgrading your units is the longest process in Honkai Star Rail. So having any kind of, you know, hastening of that effect is very important. Now the Nameless Gift is pretty important, uh, or pretty good, I would say, as a free-to-play. I think there's some really good rewards here. There's some Star Rail passes, there is self-modeling resin. There's some really good rewards out of the Nameless Gift. However, I do feel if you can afford it and you're playing the game a lot, there is some value in upgrading to the Nameless Glory Pack. I'm not saying it's ideal, and I'm not saying you have to, but if you are finishing your Nameless Gift every single month, and you want to spend money on the game, consider doing the Nameless Glory upgrade. Out of all of the options of ways to improve your account, this is probably one of the cheapest that's most productive. Outside of that, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.